Hello beautiful people, it's Andrea here, and I hated to come on camera with you guys today um, for a few different reasons. Uh, one, Tom just came to town. Two, I have not slept since sometime uh, yesterday when I woke up. Three, I don't have any makeup on. Four, I'm letting my roots grow out so I can lighten my hair. And five, I just didn't want to. But I had no choice in the matter. Today is October 2nd, 2013, and it is actually the two-year anniversary from the day that I started my weight loss journey. Um, and I did a video on YouTube, I believe it was the 3rd of October, and um, started up my channel. So it's the second year anniversary of my channel as well, which totally surpassed my mind as I was up all these hours creating a video for you guys, uh, sort of a montage of my uh, journey as it's transpired over the last two years. And I'm having a little trouble uploading the video. I'm using uh, Windows. I never um, taught myself any uh, advanced skills on any other programs, so I only have that as I've always used to edit and create my videos that I upload for you guys to watch. And um, since I'm having such issues with it, I just wanted to quickly come on here and, one, acknowledge the fact that it's my two-year anniversary uh, on on YouTube, um, I guess marking tomorrow, I have to go look at my channel, but for my weight loss, um, and to date I've lost 72.2 pounds. Now, in the beginning, my videos had stated that I had a, uh, started at like two, I think it was 290 something point something, and if I recall correctly, I was using my Wii to weigh myself, and my Wii was off so many pounds. So in all actuality, I was 299.9 pounds, which... I don't know about your scale, but my scale doesn't do a .9. It does, um, the scale I have now does a .8. Uh, so I'm kind of thinking that I was probably 300, if not more. Even still, uh, to yesterday when I last weighed myself, I was 227.4 pounds. And um, today I didn't go ahead and weigh myself because I had been awake from the night before, eating from the night before, yada, yada, yada. My hair is styled nicely, but I was wearing a headband to, uh, that I wear around this part of my head to cover up all of my premature gray. And for anyone who doesn't like gray hair, I'm sorry. It's nothing I can do. It's not that I'm a dirty person or anything. It's just that I was really trying to let it grow out. It's very hard to keep this dark red, and no, it's not my natural color. I'm a strawberry blonde, and uh, previous videos from me, especially going back two years ago, will show I had a much lighter, almost blonde-looking hair color, which was natural. But as many of us go through weight loss uh, changes, we like to make changes because it helps us feel good about ourselves, especially when it's uh, beauty, vanity changes. Anyways, yeah, I'm having a bad hair day. But anyways, uh, you guys are like family. I love y'all very, very much. The end of my video, if you watch the whole 18 point some odd minutes in length, you will see that as I did... Uh, dedicate a few words to you guys at the very end um, how I sincerely feel for you for all of your support your you know constant support has basically encouraged and motivated me in a way I cannot express nor ever thank any of you for losing Jess the girl whose video I seen that encouraged me in the first place to get going on my weight loss journey since I had already been a longtime subscriber of many of y'all here on on the YouTube uh, weight loss community uh, it wasn't until I saw her video that I really snapped out of whatever I was in and decided to do something for myself I had been following many people in the weight loss community uh, for many different reasons uh, Gastric Rose, Mama Rose, I love you, Rosemary. You're always a great support for me. And your sister, Connie, Quilting Connie B, for anybody watching who doesn't know, she was the first grant recipient for weight loss surgery from the WLSFA, which is the Weight Loss Surgery Foundation of America. And to my knowledge, it is a foundation that helps people receive grants for weight loss surgery and the surgery after weight loss surgery to help remove the skin and do some cosmetics when their insurance or they don't have insurance to otherwise take care of those expenses. Connie was the first recipient of the weight loss surgery. Sarah Will Be Skinny, also someone I had followed, was the first recipient 
of the what I want to call vanity surgery or the surgery to remove the skin. And I don't say vanity as in vain vanity, um, but to, to better herself and get rid of it. Because a lot of people don't realize this. It's not about vanity. It's about motivation and mobility. My mother had gastric bypass surgery, the RNY surgery, on April the 14th. Of, I keep forgetting the year. I want to say like 2004. It was nine years ago post-op. It's the same year that Mama Rose had her surgery. And she's been able to maintain a weight between 150 to 160 something. However, she has a lot of skin. And at the time she had the surgery done, she could not get rid of uh, the skin yet. And at the time, it, she was capable or... Um, what would, what would the word be, um, that she qualified to get rid of the skin. Her insurance no longer was accepted by the same facility, and it made things harder for her, and therefore she never got rid of the skin. And she has sagging skin in areas that is very debilitating for her, and it, it keeps her from the mobility that she should have otherwise. Uh, it would definitely keep her in a much healthier state than what she's in currently today. Uh, enough about that. Hubby will be going in for the uh, sleeve, gastron gast sleeve gastrectomy surgery. Um, it's There is a date set for the 14th of October. However, everybody has to have a little issue here somewhere, somehow. There's a pulmonist that's involved, and he has to get clearance from a cardiologist, the pulmonist, and then his medical doctor. The way his medical doctor has scheduled or basically like wrote scripts for him to go to these different doctors, he's placed stipulations on his own medical clearance to where he will not give his own medical clearance until they give theirs. And he, or should I say his office, is not really doing things um, to get the ball rolling like we would like them to. So he has an appointment on the 8th. If he doesn't have all of his ducks in a row, by the 9th, they're going to have to push his surgery a little further ahead, and therefore he will have it, I believe they said the 23rd, which is a Wednesday, rather than on the 14th, which is a Monday, which I much rather would have had because I usually don't work Monday and Sunday, and it would have been great. I wouldn't have had to really take off any or too much time. I'm really hating my hair right now. Please, I apologize to you guys. I know you guys love me anyways. But that's all I wanted to say. Be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be you. Be the boss of your loss if you're on a weight loss journey. I will definitely see you in my next video. I only wish that this one, I was looking a lot better so you can see the last two years really have been a blessing for me because I have gone through so many changes. Love you all.